during late summertime, there have been uh, people that we've never heard of before that have been watching some of these videos and they've been calling up and asking, hey, can you come out and take a look at my house? Our floors are buckling and I don't know what I have underneath my house, if it's open cell or closed cell. Uh, my best guess over the phone is usually that if you're having buckling floor issues and you do have spray foam under there, I, could, I was very confident to say you probably have open cell right then and there. But I'd go out, take a look at some of these homeowners' homes and see that a lot of these homeowners did have actually buckling floors. And it just so happened to be after a period of when we had a, a long, this uh, past July, we had about a, almost a three week uh, stretch of heavy, heavy, heavy rainfall. And for a lot of homes, that was their breaking point and where the open cell met a saturation point. And again, think of it tons of rainfall it's always a lot more humid underneath the house easily 20 30 percent more relative humidity underneath the house than it is outside of the house also a lot of New Orleans houses the ground sinks underneath the house but the water level the water water table remains the same so underneath the house where you almost have a pool there's quite often a pool of water that sits underneath there now at three two to three weeks of heavy heavy rainfall no sun in sight, it's not drying out. Laws of physics state vapors move from high concentration to low concentration. It wants to move right through your spray foam and into, and into the flooring. But again, because of your vapor barrier, the polyurethane coating is your vapor barrier and it can't go any further. But you have a huge saturation of water that is occurring there and, be, and will eventually begin to condense as if, the, if there's a good enough uh, temperature differential. So after these two, three weeks of rainfall, we've had several calls from other people saying, come please take a look at our house. And a lot of these houses did have open cell underneath them. And you could actually touch the foam and it actually has a dampness to it, a wetness to it. That wetness has to go somewhere. It wants to come inside your house. As you air condition your house, you're creating a dry sponge. That's what we want to do, of course, is have a dry house, but it's pulling that moisture from underneath right through the open cell foam and it's getting trapped at your polyurethane coating or it's slowing down a lot there and you have the opportunity for it to possibly condense and as water condenses what happens the, the floorboards swell the hardwood flooring swells at that point and that's what creates buckling floors for a lot of these people